Laws of exponents. After watching this video, I will be able to multiply monomials and simplify expressions using the properties of exponents. So what is an exponent? An exponent is basically a little number that is written to the top right of a variable or number. And that little sub, uh, superscript is known as an exponent. The base is whatever number or variable the exponent is referring to. And that's going to be really important to identify your base. So an exponent is just a um, quicker way of writing multiplication because you're multiplying the base by itself a certain number of times. And that exponent is telling you how many times. So for example, 3 squared or 3 to the power of 2 literally means 3 times 3. 3 cubed or 3 to the third power is taking the number, the base 3, and multiplying it by itself 3 times. 3 to the fourth power is taking the base and multiplying that by itself 4 times. So when we're dealing with exponents, we have some properties or laws that we can use to simplify expressions. Our first law or rule is going to be known as the multiplication property. And it can be used whenever I have the same base. So remember that the base is the large number that the exponent is attached to. And because it's the same, I'm going to keep the base and then I'm going to take the exponents and I'm going to add them together. So 3 plus 2 would give me 5. Why does this work? Well, x to the third power literally means take your x and multiply it by itself three times. That's my first one. x to the second power means take your base or x and multiply it by itself two times. If you were to count how many x's, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is the same thing as x to the fifth power. So again, you're multiplying exponents. You need to have the same base. And if you do, you would just add the exponents together. This is really important and should be written down along with the example so that you can refer back to it as you're trying to do um, practice problems. Another important rule is called the zero exponent rule. And it's really easy because you're basically taking your base and raising it to the zero power. The zero power just means that we're, it's going to turn one. So it doesn't matter what number or letter you are raising to the zero power, it will always equal one. So for example, if I had 50 to the zero power, that would equal one. 3,000 to the zero power, that would equal one. X to the zero power equals one. Doesn't matter how crazy it is, if it's raised to zero power, it's going to equal one. This should also be written down in case you were to forget it. So let's look at an example problem. We have two different numbers that we have to be careful not to mix up. We have our regular coefficients, which are just the numbers in front of the variable. Those coefficients are just going to follow the regular rules of multiplication. If I had 2 times 2, well, that would give me 4. Now, any exponent is just going to follow the rules of exponents. So we have n to the third power and we have n. n has no exponent. But if we were to recall n squared just means that you have two n's. So if we only have one n, this means n to the one power. So there's always an imaginary one. We never write to the first power. We just write it separately. So I am taking my base and I'm going to keep it the same because they're both n. And then I'm going to take exponents and I'm going to add. So my final simplified answer would be 4 n to the fourth power. Now you try. Recall what the zero power means and choose the correct response below.
So first we're going to recall that the n to the 0 power just means 1. So I'm going to rewrite where n to the 0 power is with the number 1. And then I'm going to simplify my numbers. So 2 times 1 is just 2. And then 2 times 3 is 6. There is no n other n. It's just one of the n's. So my correct answer would be A. We can have more than one variable in certain cases. And we are just going to apply these skills individually. So I'm going to focus on my numbers first because I like to get rid of the numbers that I'm dealing with. So here's my coefficient 2. There is no other number to multiply with. So my coefficient is 2. And then I usually like to put my answers in ABC order when I have a lot of variables. So I'm going to do my letter U next. And I'm going to see, is there any other U that I need to multiply? So I have U to the third power, and there's no other U's, so I'm done. And when I'm writing these, when they're smaller or just very simple, a few terms, it's easy to do in your head. But later on, it might get complicated. So I would like to write down things in my, in my notebook. And then I would cross off as I'm done with dealing with them. Because I know now that I'm still missing the letter V. V has V cubed in the second term. And then I have V all by itself. And I know that means V to the 1 power. So I'm going to add those exponents. 1 plus 3 is 4. And now this is simplified because I just have my numbers are all together. And all of my letters are um, individual. I just have U and I have V. I don't have any extras. So now you try. So I'm going to work with my numbers first. 2 is my only 1. So 2 times 1 is just 2. Then I'm going to focus on my x's. So I have 1x and then 4x's. So I will add. That's going to give me 5x's. And then I'm going to have my y's. I have 1y and 2y's. So when I add three y's, so my correct answer would be D.